She was cocky and he adored her for it. She was the only girl he liked and she saw him, only as a friend. He was happy with that, for now. She was fast, her gymnastics and jiu-jitsu moves were unbeatable and superior compared to an untrained thug like David. Kieran found it hilarious watching David try to process what was happening. After all, he was a bully who couldn't fight against a girl raised and trained by a top agent. He certainly hadn't expected a girl to move like this despite knowing about the rumours of how hard she was. He lacked the intense and professional training Mina had spent years receiving. David was starting to realise that a pretty girl, four years younger than him, was beating him to a pulp. How could he ever live this down? Mina grabbed him roughly by the shoulders, fell onto her back, pulling him down and over, and flung him over her head. He landed on his back, winded and choking and gasping for breath. She jumped up, grabbed him and dragged him to his feet, only to throw him over her shoulder and onto the ground for a second winding. He groaned in agony, grabbing his shoulder. This time, she waited until he weakly stood up of his own accord. His lip was bleeding, his eye was already starting to turn a fruity shade of purple and black and his entire back and chest area hurt. He hadn't been able to land a single hit on Mina and he stared at her in terror. No more, he whimpered, trembling with fear. Oh, just finish him, Mina, Kieran laughed. Mina took a step forward as David backed fearfully away. He had been aggravating her for months and, he wa and she wasn't about to let him off the hook that lightly. He hadn't even taken much punishment. It was too pathetic. She was just about to take hold of him again when a police officer showed up on a horse. He wore the same red uniform that the army used with black spots on, except for the word police was stitched on the upper left chest and right arm area. The police officer glared at them. Mina stared intently into the dark eyes of the horse. She had seen horses occasionally because the police used them and she'd always wanted to stroke and ride one. She felt something stir inside of her when she looked into their dark eyes. The way the officer was staring at Kieran concerned Mina and she squinted her eyes trying to read him better. Lee had taught her some scientific techniques on how to read a person's body language to see if they were genuine and she could use her own ability to see a person's energy to know when they were lying. The officer's energy was not good. He was a shadow person. What's going on here? He asked with authority as he approached. David didn't answer and instead took the opportunity to grab his bike and limp away in the opposite direction. Coward, Kieran shouted. 